Hello and welcome to another Computer Science GCSE OCR video. Today we're going to be covering the von Neumann architecture. So before we start, I'm just going to cover a few of the CPU registers, which are just memory cells uh, on the chip that are relevant in the fetch execute cycle and the wider von Neumann architecture. So the first is the program counter or PC. Uh, this contains the address of the next instruction to be executed. The memory address register or MAR contains the address of the data or the instruction to be fetched. So the difference between these two uh, is that the memory address register is kind of like the outgoing box. Um, you can kind of think of it as a bit of a post office. It's the link between the CPU and main memory. So we put the address of whatever we want to get from main memory in the memory address register, whether that be a data or instruction, and then it goes off via the address bus and grabs it. Whereas a program counter contains the address of just the next instruction. So the program counter is a little bit more specific. The memory data register or MDR contains the actual data or instruction that we fetch from main memory. So this is our incoming box. Uh, so we're going from the memory address register, the MAR, to main memory, to the memory data register. We also have the accumulator, which is sometimes abbreviated to ACC. Uh, this stores the result of the executed instruction. So for example, if we've added 10, then this would store the number plus 10 uh, within itself before it's then loaded off to or stored in main memory or in secondary storage somewhere. So the fetch execute cycle and von Neumann architecture kind of follows this pattern. Um, the first thing we do is copy from the program counter to the memory address register to get the next instruction. Then taking the address bus, which we'll talk about on the next slide, we go to main memory, grab whatever we need to, and then send it back via the data bus to the memory data register. And then finally, we decode and execute it using the control unit or the arithmetic logic unit from last time. And then we store the result in the accumulator. So moving on, the different buses. The first bus, uh, the data bus, just transfers data and instructions between main memory and the CPU. So we think of this as the actual values that have been stored, whereas the address bus um, transfers addresses that are accessed then in RAM. So the address bus is only one way. Uh, we only send addresses from the CPU to main memory. It's kind of like sending a postcode, um, whereas the data bus is carrying the actual parcels. So the data bus is one way, whereas the address bus um, just goes to main memory because main memory is always going to send to the memory data register. So we don't need to do it two ways. Um, if you were paying attention last lesson, you might also remember I mentioned the control bus. That's not so relevant here. Uh, the control bus sends control signals, timing signals, um, and so on. But I haven't really mentioned it on these slides because it's not so relevant to the von Neumann architecture and the fetch execute cycle, which we're about to do. So I'm going to do an example. Um, so we're going to sort of run a program that essentially loads in two different numbers, adds both of them together and then stores the result. So something nice and simple like that. So you can see on the right, we have a main memory sort of table uh, with different addresses, uh, numerical going from one to four and then 97 to 99 with the middle skipped out and the contents inside them. And then our four sort of relevant registers that I spoke about earlier. So we start off with the first address, um, the first line of code, if you like, that's kind of a nice analogy to draw. And the first thing that we do is copy the contents of the program counter to the memory address register. Then we increment the program counter to the next line, if you like, or the next address ready to go. Uh, and then we go to the main memory via the address bus. So we go to address number one. And then we load that into the memory data register. So address number one contain the instruction load 98, which refers to load address 98. So now because we've got an instruction that is asking more data to be fetched, we're going to put the address 98 into the memory address register, ready to go and fetch whatever is in there. So when we do that, we uh, go to address 98, which contains the number 12, and we load that into the memory data register. Um, since the instruction was just to load, load basically means take to the ACC, so the accumulator. So we're just going to pop 12 into the accumulator for now. Next thing we do is process the next instruction. So the program counter contains number two. So we're going to copy that into the memory address register, go to it in main memory and increment the program counter. So the second address contains add 97. So we're going to copy that to the memory data register. We're then going to 
oh, I made a slight um, mistake here, it seems. That's meant to do uh, 97, so that's 86, but I've written 98. My bad. So then we go to main memory and then we copy in 86 from address 97. Um, then because the instruction was to add, we're going to add 86 to the accumulator. So we're going to do 86 plus 12, which equals 98. Then we're going to copy the program counter into the Maya again. So we're going to process uh, instruction number three. We're going to increment the program counter and then we're going to go to main memory. Now we're getting the instruction store 99. We're going to pop that into the memory data register, pop 99 into the memory address register. And then now um, basically the instruction store means to um, store whatever value is in the accumulator in the corresponding address in main memory. So we're going to store 98 in 99 and we're effectively done. So we would um, go on to uh, the program counter again, copy that into the memory address register instruction number four. Uh, then we increment the program counter, go to main memory, and then we load the instruction halt. But when we decode and execute halt, it um, ends the program. Halt means to stop effectively and move on to something else. So that's an example of a full run through of how the fetch execute cycle would look in main memory. Um, usually it's not this complicated. Usually we'd just be doing sort of one instruction um, sort of on your exam papers. You wouldn't be asked to follow through something like this. But this also plays into kind of CPU and um, CPU instructions and sort of low level code, machine code. This is kind of how it works in operation. So each of these one tasks would have been a cycle in the CPU. So you can kind of see how 10 CPU cycles, say, might make up a full fetch to code um, execute run through. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.